Hello and welcome. In this lecture, we will continue configuring our resources and service groups. Back in server 1, first let's check the health of our VCS. So I will type HA status space dash SUM and press the enter key. VCS engine is running both of our servers, server 1 and server 2. Default service group is present as well. Let's clear the screen by typing clear and then press enter. One important thing to remember is anytime you want to make any changes to the main.cf configuration file which is related to the VCS engine, you always have to make sure it is in a read write mode. In order to change the file to read write mode, we have to issue a command. So we will type haconf which stands for ha configuration space dash make rw so we want to make it read and writable press the enter key now we have to add the service group as discussed previously in order to add the service group we have to utilize another command called hagrp so we will type hagrp space dash add and the name of the service group which we want to configure i will type h a share and then press the enter key now the vcs is giving us a notice that we have added the ha share however we have to add some attributes into it one thing which we have not previously discussed is about attributes of service groups and resources each agent when pulls the information through the intelligent monitoring framework it looks for the attributes within that resource or the service group therefore some resources they have attributes which are a must that means you must have those attributes configured before you can bring those resources online H a share service group we must configure some attributes from which the system list is the main one the system list attribute tells the vcs engine where does this service group belongs to if you have a multi-node cluster Whatever you define under system list, this service group will belong to only those nodes. In order to modify the attributes of our service group, we will use ha group command with modify flag. So ha group space dash modify, then the name of the service group, which is ha share in this case. Now we want to define the system list. So we will type system list space name of the systems where this service group will belong to in our case server one space a number then space server two another number the numbers in this command tells the priority at which this service group belongs to the given nodes so lower the number higher the priority we will press enter Next, we will define another attribute which is auto start list. So we want it this resource to come online once the VCS engine is online. So we will do ha group space dash modify name of the service group and then type auto start list. Here we will define the server names again with a space. So server one space server two and then press the enter key. If you want to see our group, you can type a command called ha group dash list. Press enter key. Here you can see a new service group has appeared called ha share, which is present on server one and server two. If you want to view its properties or attributes, you can type ha group space dash display and then the name of the service group. So ha share. Here, bunch of attributes are listed. You can see the ones we defined are present in here. So, auto start list, which we defined earlier, it tells where it will be automatically started. The configuration file belongs to the main.cf configuration file. The system list attribute, which we defined according to the priority number as well. Finally, you can verify what resources are available with the ha status command as well. So if you type ha status dash sum enter key along with our default service group, our ha share service group can be seen in here as well. However, the difference is it is offline on both servers for now. The reason why it's offline is because it's missing some resources and we have not brought it online manually. In the next lecture, we will configure our disk group resource and the mount resource.